What is good, guys? It's Stock J back with another video. And this one wants to break down what's going on with AMC stock, what's going on with the overall market, what you should be watching for moving forward. We're also going to talk about what's going on with SPY, Tesla, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers, what you should be watching for going into tomorrow as we have some very interesting looking technicals. But before I break into detail about all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, but it benefits the entire community as a whole. Anyways, looking at the market, things are not looking that great for AMC. AMC is about to get a bearish crossover on the PPO if it starts dropping a little bit more. And we have the support around this 200 EMA level on this 7. Point, what is this, 7.59 area. So there is a risk of some more downside that could come. We may see this thing make an attempt to balance in the morning and then start selling off towards this 7.6 area. Now, even if it does drop a little bit more, that's going to be okay because AMC has strong support around there and there's a good chance it's going to bounce if it does touch that. But I want to break down more details about the charts and also for tomorrow. So for tomorrow, when it comes to economic data, we don't really have anything too big coming out. I'm not seeing anything too crazy, actually. So this could be a, you know, a good you know, sign for the markets. Markets are making attempts to relief, but no guarantees just yet as the tickers are not really giving us those signals. As far as AMC goes, AMC has a neutral rating from B. Riley Securities, which is quite decent. The price risk ratio is very low as AMC is relatively weak still. And as far as the short interest goes, we don't really have too much data about this. The whole stock market started sinking pretty hard today. We saw the Dow shed nearly 400 points in the worst days since March as economists worry about the return. So this is super, super important. Uh, this is going to be very, very interesting looking forward. And seeing these worries return in the markets, it's very important to look at how this is affecting sentiments. As far as AMC goes, there's a chance it could reject and start coming down to 7.6, then try to bounce off that. And when it comes to SPY, I think it's going to have a very interesting trend that's similar to AMC. There's a bullish divergence right here that has developed, but no guarantees it's playing out just yet. And the overall trend is still looking more and more bearish. Now, could we get some kind of bounce, like a, a retest of this like 427 area? I could see that happening. But if we reject off that and fail to make our way back uh, towards 428, we could reject and start sinking towards 424, then 422.5. From a technical standpoint, we're still looking more bearish on the daily, especially the daily looks really bearish. So there is no true sign of a bounce just yet. No true sign of a bounce. Uh, 425, I, I don't, I'm not sure if this is going to hold as the bottom because we have 422.47 at the daily 200 EMA. That is where we could see this thing, see some virus step in for a bounce. So I am anticipating it may gap up, come back down towards this lower level and then try to bounce off that. There is likely going to be more downside nonetheless. So I'm still not entirely convinced the market's done just yet. So we could gap up then drop, but just to be safe, watch 425 as support and see if we could try to get above 428 to turn bullish. As of right now, the odds do favor us retesting 425. If that breaks, 422.5 is on the table. As far as Tesla goes, the daily chart is looking a little more bearish as Tesla did close red. Uh, it's still kind of flat right now, not really doing a whole lot. And on the four hour time frame, let's double check this. It's very flat. It's not really doing anything. It's getting very, very tight. So with Tesla getting tight like this, I'm anticipating a bigger move to come. I just want to mention that it's been stuck between 238 and about 248 uh, for the last couple of days, going back and forth and back and forth. So, so we're going to be watching to see which way we break. Can Tesla get back to 250 or does Tesla end up sinking towards, I mean, if it breaks below 240, we're likely going to retest 238. Those are some very important levels to watch for. Right now, it's not very clear which way Tesla will go because because we, we still have this very, very tight trend. So we're just going to have to wait and see for now. As far as Apple goes, Apple is actually uh, in a very important area right now because Apple has this bullish divergence forming, which means we could get a bounce on Apple before this thing continues sinking. But there's no guarantee of a bounce yet because it hasn't really happened. Now, looking at the chart, I just want to mention that we have this uh, head and shoulders right over here. We have this left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder. The right shoulder has broken the low from right here. So there's a good chance that the low is in and we may see uh, Apple attempt to bounce or it may take a little bit longer. In my opinion, the daily chart looks like it's quite oversold, but there's no sign of a bounce in the four hour just yet. 
We basically just continue to sell off towards the very end of the day. So the chart looks weak. We could be retesting 171.5 first before we try to bounce. With this bullish divergence, I think we could gap up tomorrow towards 172, then start slowing down. If we break below 171.6, we could start heading towards 170. This still looks a little bit more bearish. We just sold off for the entire day. So the best thing to do is just watch and see how it goes. With the QQQ, this is looking uh, very flat right now. We're going to be watching to see if this thing breaks below 353. If it does so, it's going to be hitting up towards 350 very soon. We do still look more bearish on the four hour time frame. It's still continuing to slow down, looking a little weak. So there is a chance of more downside. We could gap up tomorrow, retest 355, then slow down and come back down to these lows. I think it's very probable something like that happens. I just want everyone to watch that just to be safe. NVIDIA may gap up as well towards this uh, 420 area, then start slowing down. So watch that very carefully as well. NVIDIA also has this gap down here. So this makes me a little concern. Are we about to form like a head and shoulders right here and come back down to this gap fill? Uh, if NVIDIA ends up breaking down, there's a good chance of that happening. As of right now, there's not really a sign. So the best thing to do is just remain calm, cool, and collected and do what you, what you have to do. So thank you all so much for listening. As far as AMC goes, it's looking kind of weak. I could be seeing 7.6 being tested. It may gap up and retest $8 before coming back down. So watch that very carefully. And with that said, I thank you all so much for listening. Have a great day, guys. Do what you have to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you and peace out.